Um, a lot of people don't realize that caviar has not been coming from Russia anymore. And it opens that door of conversation. And, and now people are more open-minded to absorbing more about different caviars from different places because they don't want Russian product. Beforehand, if we said, oh, our caviar is not Russian, we would almost get this wall of people disinterest or not like, oh, well, I don't need it then because it's not authentic. What's so cool about where we are is that the species of um, sturgeon that comes from California is literally in our backyard. Like it's native to the San Francisco Bay. They would go up the Sacramento Valley to spawn. And so it is a local product. At the time I got into the caviar business in 2004, there were six farms around the world raising sturgeon. There were only two producing caviar. Thus, California being the birthplace for farmed caviar on the planet. After that, I became the first sustainable caviar company in the U.S. to only sell farm product. Even if there was a wild alternative, we wouldn't do it. Little did we know in 2011, all wild caviar would become illegal and everybody else had to follow suit. So they massage a the fish to get the eggs. You need really big hands, <laughs> a lot of patience, and um, a lot of tank space for that to happen. But it's so humane and so uh, beautiful to be able to see after 10 to 15 years raising these sturgeon, and you have to sacrifice each and every one to get the eggs, that I can put them back in the tanks and they can live two more years to, to, until their next cycle and get more eggs from them.